Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel. And today's yoga flow is for、uh, releasing the acute back pain. Because I am also suffering sometimes the back pain myself, and I find this flow is、uh, quite. Um, beneficial in releasing any back pain or back、uh, tension. So I hope you enjoy this flow with me, and、uh, let's start. Okay, let's start from the back of our mat in child's pose. With your、uh, legs wide open and your toes touching each other, and reaching your hands. To the front of your mat and releasing your head and chest to the ground, and stay here for a few abdominal breaths. Feel the length alongside your spine. Let yourself soften into this pose. Just take a few breaths to connect with your body and mind. And from here, let's walk your hands to the left side of your mat, and coming into a side stretch. This、um, initiates this、uh, big muscle group called、uh, quadratus lumbarum, which is、uh, along the side of your lumbar spine, the biggest muscle group alongside your lumbar spine. Stretching these muscle groups are is、uh, beneficial in releasing any back pain and release the、um, the opposite shoulder. So if you are、um, if you work to your right side, then releasing your left shoulder. If you are on your left side, releasing the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center and walk to the right side of your mat, releasing your left shoulder. Take a few deep breaths here and feel the length on the left side of your spine. And from here, let's slowly walk to the center of our mat and come into all fours. So let's do a few organic uh, spinal uh, spinal curls and twisting here. Just do as、um, as appropriate to yourself. Um, release the spine tension and you know, any lower back tension here. Opposite direction. Once you are ready, um, let's do a few rounds of cat and cow. But it's a a cat and cow variation. So take a big breath in. Curl your spine and sink your stomach into the ground, but engaging your core. Keep your head up and exhale. Round your spine, press through your arms, curl your tailbone, and come into child's pose. Inhale, come up onto all fours. Lift your head and chin and chest up. Come into a cow pose. Keep this rhythm. Keep it to your own rhythm, and just move around a few rounds. Let's be more fluid here. One more round. And come back to neutral. 
So from here, engage your core and your pelvic,、um, your pelvic floor, and lift the right leg up. Engage your core here, and make sure that your hips are squared. Take a big inhale, exhale, curl. Sucking your stomach, sucking your abdominal, and make space for your leg, and curl everything in towards. And inhale, back to lift. Exhale, chin towards the knee. Keep this movement for another five breaths. Exhale in. Inhale up. Exhale in. At your last inhale and exhale, swing the right leg all the way across the right, the left ankle, and gaze towards your right foot. You can feel the、uh, entire right side of your spine stretched. Keep your、um, core engaged here. Don't lose. And from here, come back into center and let's switch side. Inhale, exhale, lift your left knee. Stay here for two breaths. Ex at your next exhale, curl in. Inhale up. Exhale. Push your hands away. Push the.、Uh, sorry. Push through your hands and push the floor away. And inhale. Lift. Hips squared, and exhale in. Two more rounds. And swing across the right ankle, and keep the balls keep the balls ball of your、uh, left foot on the ground and heel up, and look towards. Your right foot. Come back to center. All right, let's come into a thread needle pose. So from here, take a big inhale, lift your right arm all the way to the sky. And when you exhale, cross it all the way to the、uh, left side underneath your chest. Your left, your left, che-、uh, keep your right cheek grounded to the floor, and your you can either extend your left arm in front of you or come into a bind. Make sure that your hips are stuck over your knees, and then the whole twisting are coming from the thoracic spine. Let's take a big breath in, and on your exhale, press your left hand back to the floor and push yourself up. Lift your right arm to the sky one more time and put it down. And let's come to the other side. Take a big breath in. Left arm to the ceiling, to the sky, and come across all the way to the right side. Right hand coming into a bind or reach in front of you, as you did on the other side. Stay here. Take a few breaths in.
Next, exhale. Press your right hand back to the floor. Lift yourself up all the way to the sky and put your right、uh, left hand to the ground. All right. From here, let's come into our stomach or tummy to the floor. Okay. And let's do a few、um, variations of the locust pose. So from here, reach your arms all the way、um, in front of you, shoulder width distance, and push your fingertips into the ground and lift your arms and keep your upper arm、um, externally rotate and away from your ears. Your head down in the neutral, your neck in the neutral position, and your、uh, toes curled under. And take a big breath in. Try to lift your chest and your thighs off the floor. Exhale, engage your core, your abdominals. Embrace out. Don't lose this pose. Inhale. Try to lift. The whole upper body and sides up. Exhale, loose, but still keep the core engaged. And stay here for five more breaths. Try to press your pubic bone into the ground. Make sure your core is always engaged here. And then you can feel the extension of the back muscles. So sometimes we、uh, experience the back pain, the low back pain, and the low back pain tension is because we are this part of these muscles are so weak, or we are overstretching this part and we don't bring any strength in it. Or we are too contracted on the front side of our body, so、um, it's not only about lower back pain. So it's about releasing tensions in other areas of the body. Okay, last breath out. Come down to the mat and、um, cross your hands underneath your face and rest your forehead onto your hands. Let's release here. Um. Just shake the booties a little bit to loose、uh, the back muscles. All right, and when you are ready, come into stillness. Okay, so from here,、uh, while you maintain st-、uh, stillness on your upper body, and take a big breath in. When you exhale, lift your legs off the floor. Make sure you are pressing down through your pubic bone to the ground and sucking your stomach. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's do a few rounds of this variation of log pose. Inhale down, exhale, exhale up. When you lift your、um, legs, make sure you are also engaging your glutes, so your legs are、um, are、uh, powerful. It's like somebody is pulling you from the back, and your glutes are totally engaged. Inhale down, exhale up. All right. From here, it's release and raise your arms out、um, in front of you again, about shoulder distance width. And from here, let's do a full length, full、um, full length of lotus pose. Inhale, ready, and exhale. Lift both your arms and legs up. Engage your core. Inhale down. Exhale up. Your arms are stretched out from your ears, from the side of your ears. 
and your legs are pulling from the back. Glutes engaged. We have done. And last exhale. Stay here and try to lift higher. See if you can. Inhale, release. And let's take a big breath here. In and out. Hands underneath your shoulders. Curl your toes, and let's come into a downward facing dog. Stretch out here. Walk out your dogs. Can um, by bending one knee at a time, just work it out. Release any tension from the low back, from the upper back. Keep your shoulders away from each other. Reaching your chest to the sides. Once you are ready, come into stillness of this downward facing dog and take a big breath in. On your next exhale, come onto the balls of your feet and lower the heels to the right side of the mat. Keep your knees bent. Your shoulders still square to the front of your mat. And this is another beneficial stretching of the side QL muscle. Next inhale in, come, into, come back into center, and let's lower to the other side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower the heels to the ground. Let's slowly walk to the front side of the mat. Come into a Uttanasana. Standing forward bend pose. Keep your knees bent deeply here. So don't worry about the hamstring stretch. Here you really want to focus on that release in your low back. So you can keep your knees bent generously or even more. Just to feel the relax, the release of your lower back. Stay here for a few breaths just to calm. To calm that nerve of your low back. To let go, let all the emotions stored in uh, that area go. So sometimes it's about the emotions, the fears we store there, um, which will also cause any uncomfortable, uncomfortableness or pain in the low back. Just let them go. Okay, all right, from here, let's slowly walk our hands to the um, left side. It's like we did at the beginning of our flow. Um, and you can keep your knees bent even deeper here. Try to feel that stretch on the right side of the lumbar spine. Release your right shoulder. From here, come to center and walk all the way to the right side and release your left shoulder. Let your head hang heavily. And then come back to the center. Slowly bend your knees, round through your back, slowly come into a standing pose, mountain pose. Let's release here, stand in this uh, mountain pose, release. And feel if it's any um, less tension in your low back already. Okay, from here, let's take a breath, big breath in, raise your arms to the sky, Exhale, hands at heart center. Once again, take a big inhale. Hands together, 
at heart center. Exhale. From here, interlace your um, hands and um, press them behind your head. Elbows open. Take a big breath in, exhale, move your elbows to the right side, like this. Your right, uh, your left triceps are behind your, uh, your neck and your head. And feel this open uh, through your left shoulder and your chest. And from here, if it's, uh, within, uh, if it's appropriate for your neck, just turn around Turn your head around to the left and look up. There's this opposition, uh, opposition strength. It's uh, against your head, against your right, uh, your left elbow, and your right, uh, your left elbow against your head. And if it's within your flexibility range. Try to bend over to the right and come into a slight side bend. Don't forget your breath here. Take deep breath in and out. Slowly come back to center. And let's move to the other side. Let's move the elbows to the left side until the right elbow pointing towards the ceiling and turn your head to the right look up and stretch towards the right side coming into a slight side bend breathe here breathe is really the rest is really important here Slowly come back to center, open up once more and release. All right. So from here, let's um, slowly come into a malasana, malasana, yugi squat. Sit up and tall, keep your spine lengthened and your tailbone towards the ground and your crown of your head towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in and out. A few breaths in and out here, just settle into this pose. And slowly move, um, reach your tailbone to the ground and come into sit and then let's come into come onto our back this next pose is very beneficial it's a standard uh, physical ther therapy stretch pose for any acute any intense low back pain but of course uh, you have to do it after you feel a bit uh, uh, after the pain has subsided so if you feel any uh, if you are in the pain itself don't do it but after you feel a little bit better uh, this pose is really good for your low back and let's lie on our back and uh, raise our legs into a 90 degree angle and your palms can be resting um, alongside your body palms facing up or your arms can uh, you can reach your arms to the sky like this resting your shoulders and from here let's um, let's um, move around with our legs so take a big breath in on your exhale touch your foot to the mat and lift up repeat on the other side exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and let's move um with your own rhythm for another 12 reps okay 
exhale, inhale, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Make sure that your low, lower back is firmly grounded to the floor. Uh, there is no back, uh, no gap between the low back and the, the mat, okay? And your core is all time engaged. Reaching your pubic bone down towards the anal. <laughs> Last round here, exhale, inhale, all right. Okay, from here, let's press our feet down to the ground, about hip dance, tip distance apart. You can keep them close to the, to the glutes. And then let's come into this bridge pose. But this bridge pose isn't about back bending. Rather than lifting your chest as high as possible, you need to focus on engaging your glutes. So you can keep your feet closer to your glutes, which, um, which will acti activate more your hamstring and your glutes. And take big breaths in. When you exhale, press Press the ground away and lift your hips up. Engaging your glutes at all times. And just stay here for three breaths. Last breath out. Slowly come down to the mat. And just... Uh, Come into a constructive rest here with your feet uh, wide open and your knees towards each other. Let's stay here for two breaths to rest and then let's do it again. All right, let's do it again. Feet about hip distance apart and um, Press through your triceps and your arms and your shoulders. Take a big breath in and exhale, lift your hips up. Engage those glutes firmly. Keep your core engaged, your navel sucked into your spine this is for the protection of your lower back exhale slowly bring yourself down to the mat and from here let's do a reclined twist your hands can be open like a T or bent like a cactus however you want it and take a big breath in on your exhale move both knees towards the left side and your face to the right side gaze to the right and come into this uh, reclined twist which is really good for release uh, release a uh, counter pose to the back bend to the bridge pose it's also a good pose to release um, Release the tension, release pain in your lower back area. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, lower to the other side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, just reach the knees towards your chest. Curl up like a bow. Take a big breath in and exhale, let it go. Let's come into this final pose, Shavasana. 
And this post, you absorb all the benefits that we、uh, from the flow we just did, and just let every tension, every stress, every emotional feeling go. Absorb the benefits to from this flow. Feel like feel like the tension in your low back just melt into the ground. Just imagine imagine all the tensions melt into the ground. You feel so relaxed here. You can take as long as.、Um, You want for this shavasana, but we are gonna be here just for one minute. However, you can pause pause the video and stay here for much longer. Let's、uh, slowly deepen our breath and bring some movements into our toes and fingers. Reach the arms all the way to the front of our mat, and your legs stretched out. Coming to the right side of our body, eyes still closed. Next, exhale slowly. Press yourself up into a seated position. Just、um, our last few rounds of organic spine curl, spine twist here, just to feel good after the whole flow we did. Feel the release of our entire back, especially in the lower back, and come into stillness. Take a big breath in. Raise your arms to the sky. And hands together. Exhale at heart center. Bow down to your hands, to your heart, and say Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, Yugis, for staying with me throughout this flow, and I hope this、uh, helps you anyhow in your daily ten-step life, or it can help release any low back pain.、Um, and I also hope this can release any stress from your life, daily life. All right. So、um, I guess I'll see you in the next. Episode. Thank you for staying with me, and Namaste. Bye.